Hi, Luis. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. A little bit tired, but, but fine. And you? Same. <laughs> I'm I know. Very tired. I, know. I won't. I, I, yeah, I won't um, lie. I'm very tired, but I'm good. Yeah. I'm the first, right? Yes, you are. <laughs> you are the first one. Yes. Yes. So how how have you been, Luis? Sorry. How have you been? Um. I'm okay. Everything's fine. I'm... Everything. Everything's fine. <laughs> Good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Very good. Hey, Josue. Uh, yes, Swiss. I was working at Platform, and I I received a a mis a a a, 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 a WhatsApp. Um, tomorrow is the last day. No, is Wednesday the last day at platform or no? No, Thursday. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so Thursday is the last day for for the platform to be to finish the platform uh, at twelve midnight. So you have until twelve midnight to finish it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, hello, Josue. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Josue. How are you? How was your weekend? I'm fine. My weekend was nice. I I did many things at home, like cleaning my my house, washing my car, and I wash my clothes too. And I can stay home on the the weekend. Okay, so your weekend was very busy. Yes, but it's necessary to do the things. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, you know, the, yeah, sometimes the weekend is not so much to rest, but to do other activities that you don't have time to do during the week. Exactly. So, you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay. Well, ha uh, let me see. Oh, I have Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Oh, he's still connected his audio. Let me see. Okay, there he is. Hi, Carlos. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. How are you doing? Good, good. How was your weekend? That was, that was a, a little bit crazy to me, but yeah. I'm fine. Well, I think so. It was crazy for you. Yeah. Really? Why? Why was it crazy? Well, because it's a bit history, but basically just for trying and because my cousin told me that I should be part of a call center and I say that mm, my English is really bad, but she told me that in TP has a account that is in English and Spanish. So I did that interview and I got a job. I don't know why, but I but I but I got a job. I don't know why. Oh it. yay, good for you. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's great. What when did you do it? When did you do the the, the test? Well, was mm, Saturday and today I I did the last interview with them. Oh good, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. And um all right, so when are you going to start? Um the the next year. So I have to do the training. But the training you're gonna do in December. Yeah, in December. I think December 21, maybe? Yeah, 21. Okay, so December 21st. So two, yeah, 21st. two, two Mondays from now, you start yeah. The, yeah. the training. Okay. Yeah. All but right. My English good. is no good to me from a point of view, but, but, but my and then told me that it's 
perfect for that job because I have to speak in Spanish and English. So for I can do that, but I don't know why I get a job, but I'm so happy. I will I don't want to be a burden for my parents so I can help my family with some money. So yeah. That's great. Very good, Carlos. Um, so you're gonna be speaking in English and Spanish? Yeah. How? What what like how are you gonna do that? Like what, what do you have to do? And um, the account is by AT&T, it's an American company. So I have, basically I have to sell cell phone. It's a cell account. So I have to sell cell phone and also give information. So yeah, that's everything that I have to do in that account. So you have to sell in English and Spanish? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, that's good. Okay, good for you, Carlos. Very, very good. Well, um, I hope you best of luck. Thank, thank you. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Um, okay. Hello, Pamela. Welcome. Can you hear me, Pamela? Hi. Do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, hi. Hi, how was how was your weekend, Pamela? Pamela, how was your weekend? Maybe she's having trouble with the microphone. That's okay. Don't worry about that, Pamela. Okay. And let me just say hi to Raphael. How are you, Raphael? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. How was your weekend? It was good, I think. Very good. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Um, excellent. Okay, very good. Oh, eh, there's Pamela, but she hasn't connected to the audio yet. Okay. All right. Well, guys, uh, first of all, before we, we start with the class, um, let me tell you, I, I promised you that I was going to find out about the documents. Um, and I did. So let me tell you a little bit about what's happening. Um, the documents have not been sent yet, because InSupport has not given us a time frame yet to be able to um, have the um, to get all of, to collect all of the documents. So that's the reason why you haven't gotten them yet. Okay. Now, all we know at this moment is that we're going to be starting classes next year. Obviously, we are not going to be starting um, classes this um, this year. I explained last time that we have to fit in support asks that we finish. Um, it, we finish on the 10th of December and in support asks maximum that we finish on the 20th. So that means that we don't have enough time to start a new course, okay? That's the reason why, um, and that's what the reason why uh, we're going to be um, starting until next year. The, that's like tentative, right? Like, so we're not completely sure, but the idea is that we're gonna be um, starting in, in January, depending on what Isaac says, and, but the, the dates are not established yet. Um, so we're going to be collecting and receiving the documents in December um, to be able to reserve, let's say, the, the, um, the spaces for the, for the, um, the scholarships in, in next year, right? But we don't actually have a specific date. Therefore, we're not going to be able to um, tell you you have until this time to hand in the documents. You can just start doing things little by little in December, and then you will you will be able to reserve your spot in January. Now, what is important, however, 
is that you do finish the module, sorry, the, yeah, all of the modules, all of the sections in, um, in the platform and that you obtain an 80%. That is the most important part, okay? Now, um, you have until Thursday of this, uh, this week at midnight to finish the platform. That's not very long, that's not very much time. That including today, that's only four, four um, nights, okay? So it's not a very long time. So I do need you to start working and really, really quickly. Um, to, if, you're, if you're on section like four, like work a little bit hard um, to be able to complete and start getting to section five now, because you should be now on section five. Um, and if you are below um, section four, then you really need to catch up, okay? Remember, you only have four more nights, not even days, nights, okay? You have three days and one night, basically, to finish it. That's all you have, okay? Um, all right, is that clear for everybody? Yes, so teacher, um, let me understand. Um, we are going to be waiting for them to send us the documents on, on December in December so that we can send them uh, back um, so that we can be enrolled to start the next course in January? Hopefully it will be in January. We're not completely sure, but that's okay. the, the, the idea. That's the plan that we're gonna be starting in January and we're gonna be collecting the documents starting in December, okay. but um, we don't have a specific date. Okay. 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 But like I said, what is very important is that you finish the, the platform uh, by by Friday. Sorry, by no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I take that back. By Thursday at midnight, because if you don't do that, even if you have all the documents and everything, you will not be able to register. In fact, you will lose the chance to continue in in the in the um, in the program. Okay, so that's why you have to complete it. I already finished the the platform. All right, excellent, but, Very Yes, nice. but I still have two sentences that I couldn't solve and I tried a lot. And so I have those doubts. I don't know if you may help us today because I know that my, my classmates are going to pass through there <laughs> or maybe they have already passed there. <laughs> Is that from the, the sections or from the midterm? Sorry, the, the final exam. Um, one sentence in the final exam and one sentence in the in the section four. In fact, I sent it to you in in the morning, but you didn't see my message. Maybe I think. Oh yeah, sorry, Rafael. I have been extremely busy, um, so I haven't oh. really been able to check sorry. those. But um, let me see. Um, is section number four? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the one from, from section four. The final exam will look at it the last day of class because the last day of class will we'll be looking at the final exam. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Okay. So sec, you said section number four, right? Yeah, part num number 4.2. That is the same. Okay, what, what, what part is, what, what's, what's the problem? What are you having problems with? Well, the thing is that when I try to do it um, as instruction say, it doesn't work and I tried a different ways to do it, but um, no one worked. All of this, all of the section 4.2 or a specific number? No, no, the others, yes, I, I, I have them good, but specifically the sentence and 
It doesn't worry and I don't know how to do it. Yes, but all of 4.2 or a specific number? Only 4.2. If for 4.2, you have to make questions. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to start with, do you know where? Yeah. Do you know where I can? Do you know where? And uh, for example, um, what I wrote was, do you know where I can? Uh, I, don't, well, I don't remember the sentence. I'm going to look up but I can say something better. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example here. Yeah. If it says, this is an example, not from the, not from the section, no. but just, just give you an idea here. If we said, for example, um, let's say, just give me a second. Okay, so we have, imagine it says here, um, check my eyes. So the question would be, with, do you know where, okay, do you know where, we're going, or we're always going to start with, do you know where, okay? Yeah. And then we're going to have, do you know where I I can I, I can, and then we would put, oh, sorry, no, let me reset. Do you know where I, and then we would put the form of, of have, which would be, um, can have, for example, do you know where I can have, and then we, we would, this is the passive, right? Because it's the passive, we're gonna put here, after the passive, you have to put the object. In this case, the object is my eyes, right? So I'm gonna say, do you know where I can have my eyes? And then we have to use the past participle, okay? Past participle check is? Checked. Teacher, but that part is, is uh, with active. Nope. Um, no, it doesn't say anything about being active. It just says the instructions say write questions using. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I'll tell you something. The instructions, okay. you're right, the instructions do say that it's active. However, mm -hmm. the platform will accept passive too. I'll give you, I'll, that's a little secret I'm gonna give you. Okay, so the platform will accept the passive as well. Now this is the, the passive. Thing, the, the thing is teacher that I, I tried with passive, I tried with uh, active and I couldn't solve it and I don't know why <laughs> okay um I don't know what you put oh mm. you need to put you, if you want I could write it so that you can see yeah. it because uh, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know exactly what you put, but what I am telling you is that this will, this, this structure will work. The platform yeah. will accept the passive and the active. 
and because I'm checking right now and it will accept both mm -hmm. answers. Um, so you can, uh, so it could be possibly, so it could be, for example, mm -hmm. do you know where I can, um, and then you can have uh, my check, for example, um, or, or, I wrote like this. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, I am so sorry. I am wrong. No, I am absolutely wrong. I'm sorry. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take it back. This is, I'm going to always, no. The instructions were correct and it has to be the active. I'm going to take that back. Okay. So if we're going to do the active, it would have to be do you know where I can have or I can get? Uh, so both are, are okay. You know where I can. I just noticed something. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to give you a little clue. Um, my, my biggest suggestion for this activity, so that this, and listen up, okay? Listen closely to what I'm going to tell you. My biggest suggestion for this activity okay. is keep in the, use the active with have. Don't use get, because if you use get, you're going to get confused. Yeah. Okay? So that's my, that's the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The best, um, um, what's the word? The best uh, advice that I can give you. Okay, so after that, we have to use. After how we use in the active voice, we use someone, right? So that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to say, um, "Do you know where I can have?" And then we're going to use the the someone. We're literally going to put the word someone. You know where I can have someone. Ah, I keep on putting some going. I don't know why. Okay, so um, I can have someone, and then after that, we would use the base form of the verb. Base form of the verb is check, right? So do you know where I can have yeah. someone? And then we have base form of the word is check, and then we have the the object. Yeah. Okay. The object is my eyes, right? Mm -hmm. right. Okay. All right. And that would be the question. Do you know where I can have someone check my eyes? And that should, mm -hmm. that should do it. Does that make sense for you, Raphael? Yeah. Yes, and in fact, I did it like that, and it doesn't, and it didn't work. Yeah, if you see job. the plat, the 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 message that I sent you, and in, in here in in the platinum, in the chat, it is like that, but it doesn't work. I don't know. And I tried even with passive, but neither. Okay, 
I know that I know what's the problem. Okay. Um, and it's actually not your problem. <laughs> okay. okay? Um, so I'll, I'll let you know that right by um, ahead of time. I know what the problem is. I, it's simply just not your, it's not your fault. It's simply that the, the answer that has been put in the system is different. And there, I think there has been, it's actually, an, it's actually incorrect. I'll, I'll tell you that much, it's actually incorrect. So you know what, let's hold off on this. Um, is that the only, is that the only one you're having problems with? Yeah. Raphael, yeah. And the, so it's only number four, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. like that. Yeah. And I'll tell you why, because literally the answer for number four has been switched around. So, um, so what, what the problem is that they put the, uh, the two infinitive, mm -hmm. they put it with have, and it should be with oh. get. So I'm going to actually, I'm going, thank you for pointing that out because I will report that, that they need to change that answer. So okay. they put, do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? Yeah, exactly. That's what they put. Oh yes. Do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? That's exactly the answer. So um, yes, you can put it right now in the platform, but but it's not correct. And and so I'm going to report it. Um, this is section 4.2, number four. Okay. Uh, report it so that you guys, that it can be fixed. And that way you guys write it correctly because Yes, for the sake of the platform, you can write that answer, yeah. but it's really not mm -hmm. correct. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Anything else that I can help you guys with? No? Nothing I can help you with? With the final exam, you said that it was going to be at the end of the class, right? No, not at the end of the class. Um, oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it at the end of the, the module, which is on, on, on uh, Thursday. We're going to be reviewing the final exam okay. for the class. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So anything else until section number four? No? Okay. No, teacher. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna go on to the next part. Um, okay, let me see. For the next part, we're actually going to be talking a little bit about times in the past, okay? So that's, we're gonna be talking about how to talk about times in the past, okay? So we're going to be looking at different ways that we can talk about the past. Okay, so the first, the th first thing that we can use to talk about the past is um, when we're talking about points of time in the past. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so we have here points of time in the past. There we go. All right. So there are different ways that we can. Um, this is, or better said, different vocabulary that we can use to talk about the past. Um, 
and I'm going to write here in parentheses um, here what you can use. Okay. So um, we can use a scanner moment. So Okay, so this is, these are some vocabulary that you can use when we're talking about a specific uh, point in time. So we can say during the mm, and we have the apostrophe S. And what the apostrophe S stands for is uh, when we're, we're talking about a specific, um, usually um, like decades or centuries, right? So we can say, to give you an example, we can say, um, for example, during the 1950s. Okay. So we can say during the 1950s, right? Um, the, so in this case, the apostrophe S refers to the decades of the 1950s. So it can be 1951, 1952, 1953, 1954, 1955, 1956, 1957, 1958, 1959. So that's all of the 1950s, okay? So it's all of the decades between 1950 and 1959. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Or it's also possible to refer to it as a, um, as a, what's it called, um, oh, a century. It can also be referred to as a century. So um, we could say, um, we could be, say, during the 1950s or during the, 1700s. Okay, so the 19 the, the 1700s can also refer to the whole um, century, the whole period of the century. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So then, referring to the whole century, 100 years of the century. Okay. Okay. Um, it's also possible to say in the and then you refer to a specific um, a specific century or a specific um, decade as well. Okay, so the same thing goes here. So we can say ah, sorry. So I can say in the uh, 1980s, or I can say a specific um, a century, like in the 1400s. Okay, so in the 1980s or in the 1400s. Okay. 
all right? Or we can have here a specific year. Oh, sorry, uh, not a specific year, a specific period of time. So in the, oh, sorry, over the, um, so over 20, over 20 years ago, okay, so over 20 years ago, for example, over 20 years ago, um, over 20 years ago, what do I say? Over 20 years ago, um, it, the internet started. Okay, so we can talk about how many how many years have gone by. Okay, it's about a point in time in the past, a specific date in the past. Okay, sound sound good, everybody? Do we understand that? Yeah. So far so good. Let me know if I'm if I'm not being clear. Let me know. Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue then. Then we have a period of time that period of time in the past that continues. continues um, in the present. Okay, uh, sorry, a period, not a period. Okay, so a period of time in the past that continues in the present. So it started, in other words, it started in the past, but it didn't finish. Okay, uh, which is different from this one because this one already finished. In the first one, it already finished. Okay. Um, let me just. Okay. So, a period of time in the past that continues in the present. Um, example. We can say since or for about for about the last twenty years, for example. Okay. Yes. Since blah, blah, so that so that means that this the specific period in the past it started in the past and it continues until the present. Okay. To give an example. You can say I have uh, since 2019, I have been studying English. So that means that it started in 2018 and you continue to study English until this moment. So it continues to the present. Okay. So, or you can say, for example, I have been studying English uh, about for about the last uh, four years, for example. About the last four years, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, it can. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So that means that it's starting yeah. in the past and it can be the present. This one, no. This one started in the past and it finished in the past. Okay? Do you see the difference between these two? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. And finally, we have the last one we're going to be looking at is talking about
a period of time in the past. Okay, so that means that it, it, it was a period of time that lasted in the past. Okay. So we can say, From da -da to da -da -da. And this part here is referring to the specific times that it covers. Okay. For example, uh, we can, oh, sorry. So from da 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 until da da da, or for okay. So this is specific time that we're seeing when it started and when it finished in the past. And um, examples. We can say from, okay, I, I studied at, in high school from, I don't know, 2010. Let's say I studied high school from 2010 to um, 2013, example. From 2010 to 2013, I studied, I studied high school, okay? Or you can say a specific time that lasted in the past. You can say, um, I was, um, I, I worked, I worked in that, in that store for um, seven years. for seven years. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions so far? No? The only thing uh, is like the first one, only the last one is more specific. Uh, this is a period of time. This is a period of time. And it could, um, and, and actually, to be honest, it doesn't have to be years. Um, usually it's going to be years, but we can actually use for other, not just years, we can also talk about, we can talk about years or times. Um, we can use weeks. Well, actually, to be honest, there are, for periods of time, there are time, 10 periods of time. We can use seconds. We can use um, seconds, minutes. We can use hours. We can use um, days. Okay. We can use weeks. Okay. After weeks, we can use time. Oh, sorry, months. After months would come years, which is the most common one. 
after years, we would have decades. Week after decades, we would go for centuries. And after centuries, the last one would be millennia. It's pretty much. Okay, so basically those are, like I said, there are 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in total, there are 10. The most common though would be years. I would say years and maybe uh, weeks, months, and yeah, weeks, months, yeah. years, weeks, and months. That's probably the, the more common ones or days, days too. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is there any difference between since and ever since? Because the only thing that I've heard is that ever since we can use it where the next sentence is in the past, but I don't know if there are another, if there is another. I wouldn't really say there's a difference between since and ever since. Um, okay. It's just basically ever since is more like emphatic. I would say that it's emphatic that that's when it started. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to um, travel the world. Okay. Yeah. So you are emphasizing that it start like. You're, you're emphasizing the period of time that mm -hmm. that it has, the period of time that it has continued for. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what I would say with ever since. But since is fine too. Since I was a child, since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always okay. wanted to travel the world, right? Okay. Uh, but like I said, ever since would just be that, being more emphatic mm -hmm. of how long it's happened. Does that make okay. sense, Rafael? Yeah. Okay. All right. So sounds good, everybody. Do we understand this? Is it clear for everybody? Yes, or are there any questions that you yes. want to ask before we continue? It's okay, teacher. Okay. Good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'd like, I'd like us all to um, write some, I'm going to be asking you some questions and I want you to write down your answers in your notebook, okay? All right, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, first question. It, when did the first earthquake you remember happen? When did the first earthquake that you remember happen? Okay, so just, just write down your answers. Um, you don't have to write complete answers right now. It's not necessary to write complete answers. Just write down the, the answer so that you can remember later. Okay. Next question. It, how long have you been studying English?
Next question. When did El Salvador gain its independence? When did El Salvador gain its independence? And don't Google these questions up, okay? Just whatever you got, you remember. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. When did El Salvador, sorry? I asked, when did El Salvador gain its independence? When did El Salvador gain its independence? Okay, next question. Uh, what was, um, from what period of time to what period of time did you study high school? From what period of time to what period of time did you study in high school? Okay, and the last question is, uh, how long have smartphones been around? How long have smartphones been around? Okay, all right, those are the four questions you guys you got the four questions? Yeah, I already got it. Okay, good. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get you to work in pairs, and you're going to tell your partner what you think the answers are. And some of them are, you, you know, obviously are you only you know the answer. In other ones, um, there's only one answer, but you're going to tell the, your partner what you think are the answers. And I want you to use all of these structures, as many as possible. Try to use different structures, okay? You got it? Yes, teacher. Yes, we got okay. it. Okay, so let me, let me stop sharing here. And I'm gonna right now put you into breakout rooms. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay, go ahead and join your group. Carlos, are you having any problems connecting?
Ah, uh, the for is what period of time did you study in high school from yeah. or from what period? Okay, how long have you been studying English? Okay. And the period one is when what it required that you remember, I think. Yeah, that is. Okay. Okay, guys, who's first? I don't know. The ladies, maybe? Uh, yeah, <laughs> stone, yeah, a, a stone, paper, <laughs> or a stone, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> well, okay, what about you, Diane? Um, yes. I don't have the first. Ladies, ladies first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, can you give me the first? Please. Um, okay, when did, did the first earthquake happen? When did? When did the, the first earthquake happen? I think it's like that, yeah. Mm, I'm a little bit. First er the earthquake uh, that you remember oh, sorry. in your life. <laughs> uh, me. This is my first birthday that I remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second one is some, uh, something about uh, how long or how many times do you study English? I, I, I don't remember what. Do you, do you wrote? Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Um, actually, all my life because <laughs> When I when I was when I was studying at the, the at the school, I have a, a, a I have English English class, but but not at all. I around around over two years ago in the two thousand nineteen. I think around two years ago, so, so 18, 2018, 2000, yeah, I have around or uh, around other in the 2018 around. And you? In my case, I have been studying English since 2017 until, until 2020 for three years. For three years? Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, I have studied since 2018, since today, actually today, um, maybe the next year too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, what about the second? Okay. How long have you been studying English? Mm -hmm. Okay, in my in my case it's funny because I start once, I start um, another and another and another <laughs> Okay. This is my this is my fourth time that I that I study, that I study English. Okay. I study English in at in Atirka, Academia oh. Europea, mm -hmm. American uh, American School, and right now it's a four. What about you, Diane? Um, for ten years, I think, <laughs> but uh, not in sequence. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I have the shortest because I I have been studying English uh, for about one year, one year I think, because uh, after I finished the university, I dedicated to 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 study English. <laughs> if you don't know. Yeah. Okay, where is the the where's the next 
It's something about um, dependence, about the Salvador, right? When did the Salvador? Uh, yeah. I'm not dependent? sure. I'm not sure that it's correct, but I think it's. And in 2000, <laughs> in 18, 18, 21, I 21. Yeah, yeah, September. Yeah. Remember, try to use the structures that we've learned. Okay. That's the idea. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. I just want you to get, to get the practice. Okay. Okay, uh, the independent Salvador is over uh, uh, the hundred years ago, right? Yeah. Now the, the the next the next year is 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 over uh, the hundred twenty years ago. Yeah. Now it's over ninety nine years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 199 years ago. Over, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um. The the next is some is about high school, right? Yeah. Yeah. In my case, I, I study. High school for two years. For two years. Yeah. Over nine years ago. Over nine years ago. Okay, yeah. let me remind around. Uh, I am studying in high school and um, over. Over uh, 90, 90 years ago, around 90 years ago. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the last one is how long have a smart been? A smartphone, I guess, a smartphone, right? I. Yeah. I don't I don't write I don't wrote this this sentence. It's yeah, how long like, have a smartphone? So Okay, so have you all had the opportunity of um, using the different structures that we saw today? Yes, chair. All right, any questions about those structures? Anything you wanna ask about before we finish off our class? No, no teacher, everything's fine. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, in that case, we're going to finish off our class today. Um, that will be all for today, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember, work hard. Uh, if you're not finished um, section number four, you should be catching up because you only have basically four, four days, four, better said, four nights 
to finish up, okay? So please um, catch up as much as you can today if you're a little bit behind. All right, it's been a pleasure seeing you guys and I hope I will see you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Okay. Tomorrow, take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Tomorrow, take care. Tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.